All right, so this thing is pretty powerful. It's got the display, it's got the audio quality, build quality, performance, and of course, it looks pretty nice. But there's one thing about it, and that is that it comes in Chinese only. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, we're gonna fix that and make this thing awesome again. So I welcome you guys to this tutorial, and we're just gonna jump right into it on how to transform this thing into a fully functioning English laptop legally. So let's do it. All right, so first things first, let's talk about what you need to follow along in this video and make this thing work like a charm. First of all, you need a flash drive that is at least a gigabyte, as well as a new copy of Windows 10, because the copy of Windows 10 that comes with the laptop is for Chinese only, which means you cannot use it with the English version of Windows 10. So, in order to do that, believe it or not, there are actually two ways of getting Windows 10 on the cheap without spending the full price of Windows 10. The first way is by actually grabbing an old computer or laptop that has either a Windows 7, 8 or 10 Windows key, and it has to be a laptop or desktop that you don't use anymore with a Windows 7, 8 or 10 key. And it can be Windows Home or it can be Windows Pro, whatever it is, you can use it because Windows has enabled most of the keys to work. And again, make sure that old machine is not being used, otherwise you're gonna have conflicting issues where one machine is not activated. And there's nothing to lose because you just put in the key and if it activates, great. And if that old machine is running Windows 8 or 10, it might not have that Windows key or your key might be scratched off on that laptop. But if you have Windows and it's still running on that laptop or desktop machine, then you can still extract the key within Windows. And I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. And the second way of getting Windows 10 is by actually just buying it. And there are sites that sell Windows 10 keys, legit Windows 10 keys, for dirt cheap. You can get them from $18 up to $25 sometimes. And that is pretty cheap. It's definitely better than buying a full Windows 10 copy for about $120. So there you go, these are the two ways of getting Windows 10 legally, and yeah. Grab your flash drive, grab your Windows key, or do it later after you install Windows, and let's go ahead and see how you set this thing up to have a Windows 10 installation media. All right, let's get started. So you wanna go ahead and open up your browser and make sure you're connected to the internet, and you wanna go ahead and type google.com, because right now it's using Baidu, which is the Chinese Google replacement, and then you wanna type Windows 10 USB tool. And you want to click on the first link where it says uh, download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. Then you want to scroll down and click on the download tool now, right there. And you want to click uh, run or yes, or whatever it is. All right, so once you have the program opened up either on your Xiaomi laptop or on your computer, you should be able to follow along. So let's go ahead and click accept here. And you want to select the second option, which is the create installation media. Click next. Make sure that it says English, Windows 10, and 64-bit for the architecture. Then you wanna click next, make sure the first option is selected and click next. And then make sure that you select the right flash drive, which is the MISO in my case. So you can check that by going to my computer and making sure that your flash drive that you plug in and out is the right one. It will say eight gigabytes or whatever it is and it says letter M and then you can go here and that's the right one. So you wanna click next. And now you just wait. And now what's going to happen is it's going to download the program and set it up so your flash drive becomes a bootable Windows 10 installation media. And once that's done, you can move on to the next step, which is reinstalling Windows. All right, so once your flash drive is ready, you want to plug it in and turn on your laptop and make sure you start hitting F2 as soon as you turn it on until the BIOS comes up. Now, the BIOS is the program that runs before the Windows does, and it's what manages most of your computer. And once you're in the BIOS, you want to go ahead and click on boot and make sure that the boot tab is UEFI and USB boot is enabled. Then you wanna click on boot order devices. Then you wanna click and drag your flash drive to the top of the list and click yes. And then you wanna go ahead and press F10 or save and exit. And now what's gonna happen is it's gonna boot into the flash drive before it does into the windows. And there we go. We're inside the flash drive now. Now you wanna go ahead and choose whatever language you want. Usually you want English, keep it as default, click next, click install now, and now you're the part where it asks you for the key. So you wanna say, I don't have a product key right now. You can put it on later, because yes, you can install Windows without having the key right now. And you just can go ahead and choose whatever Windows you have. So at this point, you wanna make sure you know what Windows you want. So if you want professional, make sure you have a professional key ready from an old laptop or desktop, or you can just buy it from the website that I'm gonna link in the description. So you can get Windows copies for around $20 to $25, depending on some of these cool websites that provide it. And um, they work and they're great. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and install Windows 10 Pro and make sure it's 64-bit. Again, accept the license. And you wanna click on custom install. And this is what the part where you wanna go ahead and just delete everything in the list here. We're doing a fresh, full, clean install of Windows 10. 
And then once you're done with all of them, you'll end up with an unallocated space with a total size of 238.5 gigabytes of free space. What you can do is just select it and click next and the setup would automatically set up the partitioning and everything. And now you're done. All you have to do for now is just wait until it's done. It's going to restart once or twice and then we'll move on to the next step. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows Control. Nope, no thanks. All right, so once it stops talking, um, since the latest ISO they can get from Microsoft, it actually includes the creator's update, which is good. So now you can just go ahead and set up your computer like you always do with any new computer. And after that, you're actually pretty much done installing Windows. After this process, you'll uh, take care of the drivers and then you should be all smooth sailing from there. So wait for this thing to finish, several minutes, whatever it takes, and we'll be back in just a bit. And what do you know, we're inside Windows and it's English which is exciting. We're almost done guys. So now you want to go ahead and go to the device manager just to show you. Um, we have a few drivers here that we have to finish installing, which we can do by just having Windows do its thing by just connecting to the Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you don't know what you're doing or you want to save time, the best way to do it is just connect to the Wi-Fi and just let Windows find its own drivers, which is the best and quickest way to do it if you don't have time. Now you can use Windows, but you can see that for example here it is jittery because the actual driver for the Intel or the dedicated NVIDIA graphics card are not installed just yet. So to make sure that Windows is starting to do that, you can go ahead and click on updates or check for updates and have it check for updates. Or if you want to manually install your own drivers, you can also do that. If you know what you're doing, hey, go ahead and do it, right? I'll also leave links in the description to the actual Xiaomi drivers that Xiaomi provides. And I'll leave a link for another uh, source of drivers that you can get. And um, yeah, you should be pretty much done. So I'll leave links for everything that you need in the description. And if you need help, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So you can see now, we have a ton of cool updates that are downloading automatically. One of them being the Intel drivers, the Nvidia graphics card drivers, security updates, make sure you update your computer. So just let it do its thing and come back to it after it finishes and asks you to restart. Let it restart, let it install the update, and then come back to device manager and check that your drivers are installed or not. All right, you can see that it's flashing now which means installing the drivers and you can see things are refreshing over here. And the laptop went into uh, different settings of brightness. So let's push it back up. And one last thing, once you finish installing your Windows updates, there are these three drivers that you want to install. The first one here is the Dolby installer, which will provide you with this program right here. So it's basically an equalizer slash presets for different type of sound, which is useful. It is optional. The second thing you want to install is the touchpad synaptics driver and this will enable the touchpad gestures such as scrolling horizontally and vertically and the two finger right click and whatnot. And the last thing is another thing that you want to probably install and that is the Mi OSD or Mi UI on screen display shortcuts. And those are basically the shortcuts that are on top of here. Uh, the volume and the brightness will work without the software but things such as the screenshot tool, the snapping tool, when you press that that won't work unless you install that program. Now while that's happening, let's go ahead and check if Windows was activated. So you wanna type activate and click on see if Windows is activated. And it shouldn't be activated because first of all, I've installed Windows 10 Pro and second of all, that the key that is installed on the laptop currently is for the Chinese version of Windows 10 Home only. So at this point, um, since while that happens in the background, you can do it afterwards. You can do it whenever you want. You don't really have to activate Windows unless you want to have those uh, customization options. There are some things that get locked out when you don't activate Windows. I don't really endorse it, just better to get your Windows activated as soon as possible. So what you want to do now is go ahead and grab that key that you get from your laptop or desktop or from the links that I have in the description below and just go ahead and buy the key, install it, and the way you do it is you go here and change product key. So if you want to activate your Windows, you want to go ahead and type activate and see if Windows is activated in the start menu and click on change product key and this is where you can install in your new product key for your Windows. 
And after that, you click next, next, it should load and whatnot. If you got it from an old laptop, it may not work, but there's a good chance that it will work because I've tested it many times and with great success. So again, if your laptop is Windows 7, 8, or 10, it doesn't matter as long as it's Pro or Home that matches whatever Windows you have installed, it should work. Because from my experience, Microsoft has made the old Windows keys from Windows 7 and 8 activatable on Windows 10. So you don't have to have the upgrade option where you click it in your Windows. You can just take the key and put it in. All right, so now let's talk about how you can get the key out of an old computer. And here I have my ThinkPad. Now this machine, it is from 2008 and I still use it because I love ThinkPads. Their build quality is fantastic. They look great. And most importantly, they got a great, fantastic touchpad and keyboard combo. The screen sucks and it's kind of slow but I have an SSD in it. But that's not the point here. What we're talking about here is how you can get the key from an old machine. So if it's a laptop or a desktop that runs Windows 7, there's a good chance that the sticker will be on there somewhere. But if your sticker is wiped out, I'll show you how to extract the key out of the computer if your Windows is still alive and activated. But either way, you should be able to pull out your old key from another machine that you don't use anymore using the program called Show Key Plus. And again, link for that will be in the description. And basically you turn it on and it would automatically read whatever key is installed on your machine. And yes, it works for Windows 7, 8, and 10. And you click save, save it to your flash drive or whatnot, and then you want to proceed and uh, install your Windows. Like we did in the beginning of the video. Alright, so I have just entered my key. My Windows is activated, so now you have a legit copy of Windows. So you're good to go. And now if we take a look at the device manager, we can see that most of the drivers have been installed and that we have the NVIDIA GeForce graphics as well as the HD graphics drivers both installed. And you can see here in the menu, there's one more thing, which is the PCI memory controller that will probably get updated once we restart. So let's go ahead and do restart. All right, so we just finished restarting. Let's go ahead and check the device manager one more time. And there we go. All the drivers have been installed and updated. Now the drivers they have right now are not necessarily the latest drivers but they're probably the most stable drivers that Windows recommends. And if you know what you're doing, you can go ahead, just install your own drivers, that is fine. But if you just wanna save time and you don't wanna have a deal with individually downloading and installing each driver, then this is the way to go. Now, if you're gaming, I would recommend installing GeForce Experience. I'll also link that in the description. And yeah, that my friends is actually pretty much it. You have just finished and installing Windows 10 on the Xiaomi Air 13 legally and fully activated and ready to go. And that is pretty much it for this video. So we have installed Windows, we have updated the drivers, activated Windows legally, and we have customized it just the way we want. And that is actually pretty much it for this video, guys. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.